Welcome to another episode of the Lone Recruiter Podcast. I'm your host, Brett Clements, and today I've got Pete in the, uh, in the hot seat again. A uh, bit of a different episode. Normally, I come quite prepared uh, with what I want to deliver to you guys and give you value straight into the inbox, but the amount of times, day in, day out, I sit with people, just work through their desks, I work through their problems, or I work through their you know, situations, and, and I always just regret not having recorded it. Literally today, it's the 31st of October when we're, we're recording this, so you'll probably get this next week. Um, I just want to go through Pete's desk between now and Chrissy, and I don't know if there's going to be gold in there, but I just think going through this journey, particularly if you're on your own, um, of, of how we look at it and just stopping and pausing, reflecting, analysing and assessing, and then, all right, let's go, can be quite useful. So here we go. Let's, let's, um, let's see how we go, Pete. So I'll just ask, so with regards to between now and Chrissy, do you have a target? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, hundred hundred and fifty grand. Okay, hundred fifty grand. Do you have a plan for that at the moment? Have you got like anything on the go at the moment that's going to feed into that one hundred and fifty? I've got, and we're not going to use names or clients. Otherwise, yeah. I'm going to give Jack like, a hell of a time <laughs> right, trying yeah. to beat this out. Redacted. <laughs> um, yeah, I've I've got two offers out at the moment that I'm one I'm very hopeful about. The other one needs some work. Mm-hmm. Um, so straight away, that probably gets me 35. For uh, one of them or both of them? For both. Uh, yeah, f- b- between the two of them. So I think you get one of two. And yep. we've got to bank on one of two. Yep. No and one's very no one bankable. It, and the well, other one, yeah. the other one's all but done. Yeah. And the other one is all but not done. Yeah. <laughs> um, but for those of you at home, it's, it's not about what we hope to bring in. It's like practicalities because if we know – We've got one in the bank and one's not coming. I'd rather not count that one. If it comes, great, it's free. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's all data. One, yeah. What's that one worth? Uh, 18. That, yeah. 18. 18. Okay. So we need 132. Yeah. Is that right? So what, what are you thinking for that? I've got a similar search up for role A anyway mm-hmm. that I need to now create a second profile from. Oh, ideally, you know, three profiles mm-hmm. so that I can, uh, and, and it's across two locations. So it's a, it can still be a pretty wide net. That's a lot of work for one more of, of, of those bankable roles. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I've got everything else, uh, you know, a good old fashioned search, you know, interview, negotiation, close. So everything else, there's nothing really else on interview. Right. So you kind of started from scratch, really. Yep. Other than other than the eighteen grand that is pretty well done. Yep. And then a good solid vacancy with zero candidates submitted for, which is another eighteen. Yep. You've got nothing else. Nothing else on the go. On the go. Yeah, I've got. So we're uh, starting from scratch. Yeah, a client who has come to me and then given me. Two great specs across two locations. Mm-hmm. Um, always tough to fill market. Why would they be paying me? So they, that is also a full process. And that process is already in play. Um, there's, there's searches. There's one candidate out. One, one CV to the client acro- uh, across those two locations. Um, so it's very early days. What else do you want to work on then? Have you got any other roles that you like the look of? I've got roles that I like the look of for, you know, just good companies that I know that I can sell. Um, good roles. Tell me um, your top three roles. Give me maybe title level and fee. Yep. Um, so residential development valuer for Sydney. Uh, senior. And that'll be, that'll be a 20 grand placement. Um, then, you know, uh, senior contaminated sites, uh, scientist consultant, Sydney or Brisbane. I've already counted that. Next. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's fine. Um, then honestly, it's going into my next client meeting tomorrow, knowing Mm. that I've got a search at director or associate director level for commercial valuations um that's pretty well done isn't like that's coming yeah that's coming i've i've all but been 
briefed on it, but I have to go and do the meeting and get the, the detail. Get a proper brief. What, yeah. will, what will that then be, 24? Yeah, 24, 25, quite, quite happily. Okay. All right. So that's kind of, that's like front of mind, this is the meat right now. Because if I pull this together, you've got 18K, which is all but done, great. Mm. You've got another 18K, which is shaky as hell. Yep. Only because I know the guy, what he's got a short-term contract he wants to see through. Absolutely. Loves the offer, loves the role, loves the company, but is nervous to quit early. Yep. So yep. We can, it's totally doable. Totally doable. Um, the, the the process has been slow because that was comfortable both sides. That's and right. That's and now actually client, caused trouble. And now the client's got another option. So, yep. again, I don't. we're not banking on that one. It's there. If it comes, it's a cherry on the top, but let's not even count that. So you've actually got a ton of, of generation too. Of these roles you've given me, right, you got one CV out for the Contam role in Brisbane. Yep. And you've got – have you got any other CVs in Sydney or Brisbane for that CLM stuff? No, no. no. We're there, have that's, you got, that's at search stage. Have you got anything for that first senior res dev value? I've got one – uh, one person, mm -hmm. uh, a, a pretty good candidate for it, um, a, a good starting point, but I don't think that they're going to get the job. I think that they they could absolutely if they were the only person out there, and so I've got to prove that they're the only person out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, look, that, I mean that's 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 a task, right? Yep. Prove they are the only person out there. Don't like, don't love it. I mean, can we get another one? I know they're they're tough to find those people, but if you've got yep. one, you can find. Excuse me, you can find another. Um, and then the associate director role, that's in Sydney? No, the associate director role is Brisbane. Riz. Okay, yeah. so that's a separate search. It's nice. Have you got anyone for that? No, no, it's a fresh – I haven't really even done that level um, in, in any great detail in the last six months. So if I – have you got your calculator there? If we just quickly run through the potential here – I mean, between now and Chrissy, we're like seven and a half, eight weeks. But if we go 18, go 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 20 plus 25, we're at 100. We're at 99. Yep, 99. So it's still 50 short of where you want to be. Yep. So what's the plan? So in terms of what you've given me here and what we're looking at here, I'm guessing that it's generating your face off. Yeah, it's ge generating my face off. I've got some good reactive candidates to, to work, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't have roles at their levels. They, they are, um, you know, that's instead of the, the search side, I'm going to have to do a canvas I'm, yep, you know, yep. as, as targeted as possible, see if there's something out there for them. They uh, are good, placeable people. In vows or in In vows. Okay. Two in Sydney. Yeah, one in Brisbane that will, you know, likely be my first approach for the associate director director role. What are those candidates worth if we place them? At twenty each, fifteen each, twenty twenty five. Yeah, okay. Director would be twenty five. Yeah. So I mean that that's a shortfall. Yep. And that's nice because you've got already got the candidates and finding the works the easy part. Yeah. Yeah. There are people listening at home going, finding the work's the easy part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, like we've developed those clients over a decade. Um, I think when you, know you, when you know your market, it, yep. you just know this one's placeable. Yeah. Okay, so I guess the next part is like how many projects do you need to get done? Yeah, I mean, we're outsourcing one of these, I know, up in Brizzy with Marie, so you don't have to do that one. Yep. But you've got one to... You've got like probably two, at least two projects to do for the Val side of things in terms yep. of like when we say projects, we're talking like LinkedIn projects. Um, yeah. all, of know, the, all the databases. Database, like just the whole process on, on generating people. And you want to get two to three candidates for each role, right? Yep. When do you want to get those projects done for the two, to, for the two valuation roles? Is that uh, like a this week thing? This week and next week is, is kind of – uh, my yeah, that's that's when I want them done. Okay, because we what seven seven weeks run in. Yeah. yeah, all our generation activity needs to happen in, in by midway through November. Yeah, if you ask me. Yeah, 
if you've if you've got 150 you want to make, you need to know. You need them in the pipeline. You need those bullets in the barrel by mid November. So that's two projects by mid November. Done. Easy. That's two weeks. Yep. Oh, you're going away. Yeah, I'm going away mid November. Um, so mid the, what date? The, the what pressure date? 12th to the 18th. I I would strongly recommend those projects done before you go away. Yeah. So that they're one of those for projects you. needs to be done today. Okay. Yeah. So two pro so project one, project two before the twelfth, was it? Yes. November. This, <laughs> this is a scrappy sound, right? <laughs> um that's great. The canvassing of those candidates you have two in Sydney and one in Brisbane. When are they getting done by? End of the week, hopefully. End of today, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, one of them needs to be screened today. Um, so what's the date today? 31st. Yeah, it's November tomorrow. Yeah. Canvas by the 3rd. Yep. That's solid. I mean, the the first two roles we talked about, we've got, we have got a resource on it. You've got to close that first one. Look... You get you nail all this. You're going to hit your 150. But what makes me nervous is that it's a 100 percent strike rate. Yep. And we all know that that's tough. This time of year, though, I reckon your percentage goes up. It does, and especially on the the Val side, the you know again, that's the, the client relationship stuff is there for a 100 percent success rate. Mm. Uh, it doesn't always work out that way. You've got to back. All right, play the I've I've got okay. We put pressure on the resources for Queensland for that for that Enviro work. You get Project One and Project Two done by the twelfth of November. You can do it way before then, by the way. Mm. And you get your three candidates: the two in Brisbane, uh, the two in Sydney, and one in Brisbane canvassed by the third, which is the end of this week. Yep. Then my question is, what else? Because like you're going to process these people as they come in, you're going to interview them, set up interviews and things like that. And but once you're in a rhythm, that's easy. I would love you to not waste the rest of November in possible generation, whether that be finding work or whether that be finding candidates. So where mm. is that next phase of generation going to be? We want to guarantee the 150, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh. And you might not have the answer. I mean, if you don't have it, we just need to know that you need to no, yeah, c- answer this. Get get some energy towards it. Uh, I mean, the, the, the brief from last week, that was two roles, essentially three. Like, I need to make sure of that. And we've kind of put a, mm. a, a an end date on that uh, when, you know, have to either – Sort of give give it up or say you know this is how we're placing that. Um, the brief tomorrow then becomes you know everything that I need to know about that and if there's anything more that that I need to be doing from that any more business that's coming from that because it's you know, ideally one search. I I I touched on this the the other day, but I think we're at that point of the year where when new briefs come through, maybe this meeting you've got tomorrow, we start talking retainers for over Christmas. I know the, you know, the the quick recruiter in us wants to close this thing quick, but we, you know, this side of Christmas, but we are getting to that point where maybe we need to start having those conversations about pay us up front, retainer, we start the mapping and the projects and the searches now, we can have all the catch nets open over Christmas break, come January, we know what we're processing, you know what we're doing, and we can read a rock and roll, because the challenge about Christmas, right, and, and anyone listening at home will have the same thing, is that people go and leave, you're not sure when they're back, maybe their plans change. Two-week shutdown over Christmas for everybody. Just vagueness, right, and yeah. a bit of faff, and you come back and you're not quite sure what where your money's coming from in Jan. Yeah. And it's, I think when you've got, I mean, sitting on a couple of retainers going into Christmas, your January's quite strong because you, you know what you're looking at. You, all your ads are up over the break. So maybe part of what you can look at at the back end of November is what retainers – we can catch maybe with the goal of two to three retainers for over Chrissy. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice way to just take the uncertainty out of the break. Yeah. I like it. I'm going to do it. Um, goal, two to three retainers over Xmas. Um, I think that would be, and, and you get that, that cash comes in for this side of Chrissy will feed into your 150. Yep. But you don't have to deliver it. No, well, you do, but it's, you, you don't yeah. have to deliver it before Christmas. Yeah. Um, I like that plan. Do you like that plan? Yeah. Yeah. It's Do you like that plan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
I think that's it. I'm happy with that. Anything you want to add? No, no. It's nice and nice and easy. It uh, puts a pressure on the next two weeks, this this week and next week. Yeah. Whereas it, that's where it should be. Love it. So we have time for you today. As always, have an amazing day. And may all your planning before Christmas and your deals come true. <laughs>